piece of shit. Here's another snitch. Yeah, who's going to survive in prison longer, Aaron M. Holt or Tim Pool? Who will uh, who will survive? Where is it? Where is, there we go. Did you hear his uh, his experience talking about being in prison? Did you hear that at all? It was like uh, he immediately got bitched out. I know a guy who went to uh, jail recently. Yeah, and oh, one second, folks. I know a guy who went to jail recently, yeah. and the first thing he said when he came out was somebody asked him for his orange juice, and he told him to go fuck themselves, and it was like a cup check. Like it was the guy he's was trying to see if he's a bitch or not. Yeah, and now he came out. And he was all proud of that. I'm like, yeah, I mean, you know, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> How long was he in jail for? That he had a to- night. Just give him the fucking orange juice at that point. What nah, the fuck do you he's care? Like, nah, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. I'm not. No I mean, one's, if no one's taking my fucking. I orange do juice. like OJ. I get it. And then Aaron, I heard, the thing I heard in his story was somebody asked him for his fruit cup, and he like immediately handed it over. Did he say that? Yeah, that was a real like a special. Did part he of say that story. about himself? Aaron bragged about. It. He's like, yeah, because what do I need the fruit cup for? And like, you're just <laughs> that. <laughs> You're not even realizing that you're a bitch and making fun of yourself. You're talking about it like you, like you're sharing, like and then, you're in and kindergarten. Then, uh, yeah, yeah. And then the uh, yeah, because I was like, what do I need a fruit cup for? You know, oh. the Latin kings. One of them, he uh, pulled down his pants and he said, "Suck my dick, white boy." And I'm and like, I wanted a different kind of I taste in my mouth. I wasn't doing anything with my mouth at the time, anyway. So what else am I gonna I'm do? I'm gonna like I'm reporting a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> God, why does he look like the biggest dweeb in the world? I mean, that's coming from and a guy like me. He can't talk about Nick's wife anymore. Yeah. I think if you just say Nick's wife, he can't even, probably, probably can't he even can't play do the anything. Clip, right? If you super chat Nick's wife, he actually can't read the super chats. Can you believe it? Isn't that crazy? The snitch mindset. It's, the snitch, uh, if, you're not, if you're snitching on something that's then no one got harmed, like there's no yeah. murder or th- Theft or something? Theft from a human, from a person, not from like a bank or a corporation. Right. Uh, you go to the the lowest level of hell. Yeah. I think you're at the bo- you're at the bottom of the rape pile. For those of for those of you who have missed out on what's going on with Aaron M. Holt, it's that he had a what a restra- he had a restraining order or restraining something? order from his first ex wife, which so, he violated. So he had over his head what do they call it? A suspended, suspended sentence. sentence. Yeah. And a suspended sentence is, if you fuck up, we're going to put you in, in jail. jail. Yeah, for 90 days. And while he was on a suspended sentence, he decided to stream he went himself on his sharing podcast revenge porn. And he said, hey, hey, Gino Bisconti, how about I send you these naked photos of uh, a certain lady? And uh, and did you did you hear life. what he said to Gino on the your show? Your boy didn't do bad, did he? <laughs> yeah, your boy didn't do bad, did he? Can you? What kind of fucking loser are you that you send a guy pictures of a lady you you had sex with and you go, oh, didn't do too bad, huh? Didn't do too bad, huh? Didn't you, do too bad, huh? Uh, yeah. Did you see the news article of it? Dude, him? it's been in the sun. Like this is becoming. I don't know how Aaron. It's always so weird when shit that we think is like locked to our little internet corner. All yeah. of a sudden, there's like little local news reports. Yeah. Uh, local uh, uh popular internet <laughs> podcaster Aaron Imholt. <laughs> Has been caught in a revenge porn uh, scandal. Again, this is revenge porn. If a lady sends you naked pictures of her, you're not allowed to send them to Gino Bisconti <laughs> as part podcast. of a bit for your podcast. That's yeah, against the law. Well, the bit was harassing the, the harassing a woman. Sent, sent yes. Them. Here's the look at this. Look at this. Look at that tan old man leather skinned hairdo. man about to lay down the law. <laughs> this is like Fox Nine. It's like a portal to Boomerland. Uh, this guy, this is great. and this is gonna. He's now facing charges for something he allegedly did while live streaming oh my his God. show. <laughs> I love this guy. Look at his eyes. It's like reality wrecking. I know. Seeing it on the fucking news. <laughs> it's completely changed the. <laughs> like it goes oh, from like, oh, this is all fun. Our and parents goofy. found out what we were doing <laughs> it online. Is the parents, yeah. Oh, oh, everybody, put your shit down. Uh, good luck. Oh my God. <laughs> is the host. Of the Steel Toe Morning Show. Can you imagine? That has been on the air for oh at least a decade. God. Fox Science Karen Scullin joins us decade. now to explain what is happening Let's here. Let's hear it Karen. from Karen. 37-year-old Aaron M. Holt made his first court appearance this morning for disseminating private sexual images without <laughs> consent. But he appeared to do this while actually live streaming. Oh, here's the clip. <laughs> I know. Kn- okay. They Here's- explain it like it's so fucking Bro. stupid because it is. Yes, it's so stupid because the Steel Toe Morning Show is a guy in his house with a bunch of crap on the walls. Yeah. It's not like Doing a, a real fucking impression. show. It's not real. 
bet you thought I wasn't coming. Welcome to the show. It's me. It's Look at me. that set. It's 37 year old Aaron Imholt. The hack comedian shirt. <laughs> of the Steel Toe Morning Show, a YouTube podcast with about 13,000 subscribers. But one of Imholt's May shows has him in some legal trouble. He was reported for sending a photo of a naked woman. Gino turned him in, right? What? I think Gino turned him in. Gino snitched a little bit of himself. Oh, he did? I think Gino... Went, is that why he's, like, panic? He seems kind of panicky about it. I think Gino... and like he's trying to regain ...fell cred. out with Aaron because he's like, what are you doing? And you reported Nick and his kids? What the fuck's wrong, what's with, wrong you? with you? wrong with you? Yeah, so I think, I think Gino went to the cops and was like, hey, this guy's sending me fucking revenge porn. I could be wrong, but that, that's how I yeah. understood it. Uh, okay. A person joining him Two on snitches. the podcast. That woman Snitcher reported Rama. the situation to police, and now Imholt faces criminal charges. Did you check I, your... I like tattoos more than I think. Your boy didn't do too bad, did he? Look at that sheepish creepo. That is the creepiest. Look at how pleased he is with himself in like th this creepy serial killer way. Your boy didn't do too bad, boy didn't did, do he? Too bad did he? Your boy didn't do too bad. I had sex with a woman. Gino, look at the picture I sent you. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I did. Oh, my it's God. It's fucking horrific. Jesus Christ. This guy, he already looks creepy. Don't talk like that. Uh, What's going to happen to the Steel Toe Morning Show? Um, he's got to keep doing the show, but he can't talk about the only thing anyone wants him to talk about. He talks about cop stuff now. Yeah. It's like a show for cops. If you could imagine Wait, what? a radio show. He talks show about for, cop stuff? Like, if you can imagine, like, an audience full yeah. of policemen, what they would want as entertainment, that's his show. Okay. You know? Yeah. Just imagine like he does a lot of like sports talk and shit. But he's lost every kind of. But he's like a like yeah. a noodle man, so he can't talk about it from like any kind of. Not like it's not a guy. Know, Josh throwing. Denny and, and yeah, uh, those look like uh, Carl was a football, football player. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? Speaking of which, we should promote our good friends Carl and uh, Josh and Denny sport. with the yeah. Big Uglies podcast, which is a great podcast. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.